Hello everyone and welcome back to the Vibrant Life Source channel and today we are in the kitchen cooking and we are going to make my herb crusted pulled pork. This recipe is great because you cook it once and you can get a multitude of different meals out of just making one thing. So we're going to go through the recipe and it is so easy and then I'll show you some different options that you can do with it with the finished product. We have a about a three pound bone-in pork shoulder. You can do bone-in or boneless pork shoulder or you can even use beef if you like. We're going to have one third of a cup of water, my secret spice blend which I will share that with you here soon and I am using a slow cooker for this. Now, if you prefer to use your Instapot, you can. The thing with this recipe is we want it to be low and slow. We want the meat to have time to tenderize and to braise. And so that's why I'm using the slow cooker. You can use that option on your Instapot if you like, um, but I'm gonna be showing you a slow cooker option. So here's what we're doing is I'm gonna put on a glove, um, one of those cooking gloves. So I've got one hand that's gonna be the dirty hand, one hand's gonna be clean, and I'm gonna get my pork shoulder. I've already started putting the seasoning blend on this, so this will go fairly quick. But what we wanna do is take the seasoning blend, which is, um, we have cumin, smoked paprika, um, garlic powder, dried garlic powder, dried onion powder, dried oregano, and sea salt. And, about, and I made a big batch of it. So this batch is about a tablespoon or a heaping tablespoon of each. Um, I make a big amount of it because I use it a lot. But what you're gonna do, use your seasoning blend and you're gonna put it all over this pork shoulder. And basically what we're doing is we're making a dry rub, right? Um, and this pork shoulder has been rinsed and packed dry with um, paper towels. So we really are working with just a kind of a clean palette here. And I'm working the rub all over it, getting in, you know, the nooks and crannies and making sure that everywhere, working my way around. So like I said, I pretty much had already done this ahead of time. I'm just kind of walking you through what it looks like and I'm just kind of feeling in where I may have missed earlier. Okay, so our spice blend is all on the pork shoulder. We are good to go there. So now what I wanna do is wrap it up. So what I had done is I put a couple sheets of plastic wrap down on my cutting board. It just makes this whole process a whole heck of a lot easier. So I'm gonna take off my gloves, set it aside to be thrown away, and then I'm gonna wrap this guy up. We want to make sure that it's good and tight because what's going to happen is this guy's going to marinate overnight in the fridge. So we just want to make sure nice and tight. All right. So there it is. So now pork shoulder is going to go in the fridge overnight. Tomorrow morning, what I'll do is take it out, take the plastic wrap off, very important, take the plastic wrap off, then put the pork shoulder in my slow cooker. Then I'm gonna add one third of a cup of water into the slow cooker, okay? Turn the slow cooker on low for about eight to nine hours. And then tomorrow we will do the big reveal as to what the end product looks like. Welcome back and today is our big reveal of our herb crusted pulled pork and a quick recap of what we've done thus far. So yesterday we put on our dry rub on a bone in about three pound pulled, uh, pork roast, wrapped it up in plastic wrap and popped it in the, uh, in the fridge overnight. Then this morning I took off the plastic wrap and put it in the slow cooker. I set it on low for about eight and a half hours. Oh, and I put in a third of a cup of water as well into the, into the slow cooker. And this actually cooked up a little quicker. It cooked up in about eight hours. So I've been gone all morning running errands and working with clients. And so I got home not too long ago and I will tell you my house smells amazing. So one of the perks of using the slow cooker is the meat really breaks down and it is so tender. 
Um, I literally have not even used a uh, any forks or anything. I'm just using the tongs here and the meat literally is just falling right off this pork shoulder. This is amazing. All right, and this is actually, what I'm pulling off here is about half of the pork shoulder. So from here, we barely did any cooking. All you did was put a dry rub on and pop it in a slow cooker. Now, we have enough meat for probably, depending on how many folks you are serving, probably anywhere from two to five meals. So, this right here. So tonight I'm probably going to have this over either cauliflower rice or brown rice with vegetables. Um, obviously you could do some a barbecue pulled pork sandwich, tacos, salads, a pasta dish. I mean literally the ideas are endless now that you have something and you can make all different kinds of meals. You could do a breakfast hash, you could do a wrap for lunch, like literally I could just keep going and going. So give this recipe a try and let me know what you come up with on how you're going to repurpose the pulled pork and if you have your own spice blend that you would like to use. And while you're commenting, please be sure to subscribe to my channel so you get updates of new videos that are coming up. And yes, there are definitely more videos coming. Well, I hope you have a great day. Try the recipe, let me know how it goes, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.